Hi, thank you for choosing to watch this video on designing with commercial off-the-shelf components using VSS. Specifically, we'll be talking about VSS file-based RF blocks. In the Elements tree, under the RF blocks node, you'll see that VSS supports nonlinear and linear file-based models. The tone source is considered a file-based block in the sense that it can read in a phase noise mask. In the following slides, we'll talk about the details of each of these models. AMPF supports frequency dependency. The format is shown here in the slide. The first column consists of frequency information. The remaining columns consist of the parameters of interest. AMPF supports full S-parameter characterization as well as impedance dependency on frequency. NLF supports several formats. In the slide here, I'm highlighting that it supports AM to AM and AM to PM information. In this case, the information displayed is for one frequency. However, NLF can be configured to support multiple frequencies. The second format supported is the results of a two-tone analysis. The element help will indicate to you that this model supports up to the fifth harmonic level of each tone and the fifth order intermodulation products. If we look at the model in VSS, here's NLF. It's referencing a data file. The data file was brought into the project the data file consists of a two-tone analysis. You'll see the corresponding power levels and phases of tone A and tone B. Moving along in the data file, you'll see the harmonic levels of tone A and tone B. And going further into the data file, you'll see here that we are reading in all the way up to the fifth order intermodulation product. Moving along one more time in the data file, you'll see that this model also supports frequency or impedance uh, dependency on frequency. Looking at the spectrum plot and tuning on the input power level, you'll see that the spectrum plot tracks the input power level and the resulting products that are generated in the spectrum plot are a direct result of the data file that's been imported. Moving back to the presentation, you'll see that VSS now supports the MDIF format. Uh, it's new to VSS version 9.03. Uh, NL underscore MDIF was designed primarily to work with P2D files, and that is a standard format that is shown here in this slide. The last model that we are going to talk about, or the amplifier model, is the variable gain amplifier. The file-based uh, VGA supports hysteresis as well as frequency dependency. The element help will indicate to you how to construct the, the data file or the format of the data file. One format that is supported here is uh, control voltage gain, P1DB, IP3, and noise figure information. The uh, file-based uh, mixer model, mixer underscore F, can be used to uh, create an image rejection mixer or perhaps a uh, subharmonic mixer. You uh, indicate to the model what suppression table you want to read or what spur table is needed to realize that device in VSS. In this case here, I have an N by N matrix for two LO powers. There is a suppression table over here, uh, specifies a suppression value for the input to be 20 dBC, for the LO, the suppression value to be 30 dBC, 
and then for the corresponding third order intermodulation products, the DVC values are 24 and 32. Let's go into VSS and take a look at Mixer F. Here's my test bench for Mixer F. You'll see here that I'm reading in a spur table. I have IP3 values per frequencies that we're going to test at, as well as gain conversion. If we now look at the spur table, you'll see here that it's in fact in a um, spur table that was obtained from a manufacturer's data sheet. And if I run the simulation, I'm going to be sweeping frequency. And in this case, I'm choosing to display IP3 over frequency. Uh, the blue trace is the VSS measurement for output IP3. The magenta points are just reading in the data file. And you'll see here that VSS is interpolating in between frequencies as we make the measurement. The file-based linear models supported in VSS are LinS and Lin underscore F. In addition to supporting microwave office coast simulations, LinS can be used to read in touchstone data. LinS is in fact an n port linear model. You define the number of input and output ports. LinF is used to model a two port linear device. It supports several formats. One of the formats that it supports here is frequency gain in phase information of the file or of the filter. The tone source is also considered uh, file-based in the sense that it can read in a single sideband phase noise mass. The data format consists of two columns of information, offset from carrier and DVC hertz information. This last example here is what I call the, the COTS example. Go here to the main system diagram. You'll see that this system diagram consists of VSS behavioral models as well as file based models. I'll highlight AMP underscore F here. AMP underscore F is a uh, UMC low noise amplifier. Uh, the data file that it's referencing here was obtained from the manufacturer's data sheet. You'll see here that I have frequency noise figure. IP3, P1DP, and the full S parameter characteristics of that device. The analysis that I performed using RF budget was cascaded noise figure over frequency, as well as cascaded output IP3 over frequency. RF budget, or RF uh, budget analysis, supports many measurements. Here I'm just highlighting two of them one over frequency and being IP3 and the other one being uh, noise figure. Uh, the last graph that we can look at over here uses RF and spectrum. Uh, as I move the probe around in the system diagram, I can look at the resulting spectrum being generated. So in essence, I hope I showed you how to use VSS to read in information from manufacturers' data sheets or perhaps laboratory measurements, uh, and using a combination of file-based models and behavioral-based models in VSS will allow you to get a complete analysis of your system and hopefully prevent over-specification of components and ultimately save you time and money in your design process. For further information about VSS, please visit our website. And once again, thank you for spending the time with me to learn about VSS.